<laughs> Yellow corals. They want to zoom you? Yeah, I think one of these. Which one? Which one? Pick one. You've got 800. <laughs> <laughs> um, the really, really bright one up yeah, yonder. I'm not sure. Yeah, do you guys want the really highlighter yellow or do you want the pastel yellow? I yes. think they want the, the pastel point, yellow point. to start with. Mellow Raj. yellow, Raj. The, the colors that you see on some of these animals, is, nice. it doesn't serve any uh, evolutionary advantage or disadvantage. It's it, uh, it's just part of their pigmentation. She's saying that the less bright yellow coral fans are actually octocorals, oh. but the bright yellow fans are the enolopsamia anal coral. Oh, who we got coming Ooh, what here? Do we got here? Oh my god! Chimera! Goodness. Hey, Chimera! Oh, oh my gosh! Whoa. Oh. So cool. <laughs> With a tiny little halosaur or something right below it. Can't quite make out its head. Wow, good angle. Yeah. Wow. He's doing all the beauty shots for us. <laughs> this. Oh, wow, even better. Someone else crawling on oh, us too. Oh. Do you want oh, porch light on? Sure. sure. Like Wait a minute. Do we know? Is that? Is yeah. it? No, but no. it's a It just looks like it's a head. I know. It's just its head. It's not. <laughs> it's like a actually with a tail attached. attached. Wow. That's an interesting For fish on this dog. That's, yeah. that's a big nose on that guy. So yeah, Chris is confirming how it's for okay. the for the okay. lighter okay. purple one. They're yeah, competing for the limelight. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That is so bulbous. Just oh, the crab, but I just found the name of the crab, the hermit crab, too, just a little bit ago. It is Parapagurus, Parapagurus. I don't know how to say that correctly. Just yeah. out for a walk. Do a little bump down here. One second, guys. Oh, that's oh cool. wait. Yeah. Hello. Who's eating who? Who is eating who? <laughs> yeah, I think it's just a mobile home. <laughs> Negative, uh, no, nothing. That crab is wondering what this giant yellow crab is doing in its territory. Right. <laughs> it's a stare off now. Lally, can you talk a little bit about why a crab might put a zoanthid on its back like that? <laughs> Style. Or maybe more why a zoanthid might go on a crab's back like or that. Or come Is it beneficial in a feeding, from a feeding perspective to have access to lots of different places? Maybe. Look at that. Yeah. So, wow. Am I seeing oh, a, that's an old sponge. Am I seeing encrusting sponge on a dead sponge? What am, what's that purple stuff? Coral. Is it coral? The Yeah, the purple might be... Um, Zoom in, please. Uh, a coral. Wow. It shows that even dead animals are still such a valuable asset down here. Stolen wow. for a... Incredible. Uh, any of our animal experts joining us from shore, if you Can could... we hold ship position here, please? Help me understand if this is a uratinity today. Thank you. I'll get a good look at the base here too. I know that can be helpful. Yeah. Zoom in, please, Steve. Conalastamatane. I I'm really screwing up that name. <laughs> oh, now that we're looking at under the under the base, it looks kind of similar to what you're talking about, Bit. Yeah, that's what I was. It seems like the defining characteristic yeah. of this thing. So, awesome. give us a moment, please, to. Uh, See if this is what we're looking for. That might be a sample worthy. Steve, you want to zoom in right up close on the edge of it? Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. What's attached to it? The red. Wild. Interesting. I'll have to look that up in a minute. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we're all wondering. Uh, Could that be a prestigious sea star? Maybe? I am not a biologist. Disclaimer. Do not take my word <laughs> as any scientific information. <laughs> All right, come wide, please. I'm going to reapproach it here. Steve is recommending that perhaps we take a, a sample of that. Okay. Yeah. So the specimen we're just looking at here, a picture from um, Musician Seamount, which is a little more to the southeast, somewhat similar. I think it's worth going ahead and taking a, a specimen of this. Good there. And we'll do 50% uh, on the slurp, please. Coming up on slurp. We're at fifty percent. Okay. 
That thing is significantly larger than I thought oh, it was. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's just coming right off. Wow. That is delicate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That was a great recommendation. There it is. That was a great recommendation. Yeah. yeah, thanks, Steve. Great call. Get a little bit more and then make sure you got it actually enough there. Yeah, how is it looking in the slurp jar there? You can see it floating good. around in channel three. Yep. Maybe a couple more pieces. Yep, got a lot more space. Oh, uh-oh, come on. There we go. Okay, thank you, Steve. Good job, team. Why is that so? All right. All right, we can go, when Trevor's ready, we can go ahead and put that ship smooth Slurp back in. Is. And we have a subset, a vet subset list, where there are organisms that have, uh, let's say, confusing taxonomy. And so we're looking for those. One of our scientists provided us, us with a list of those animals. Um, Whoa. And I'm going to go off Whoa. mic for a moment while we hmm. confer about our dive plan. Look at the size of that. Woo. Wow, that's beautiful. I think that's similar to what we sampled yeah. earlier. Mm -hmm. Yep, that we uh, slurped and it just kind of yes, came right off. Slurp. <laughs> Same associate species yeah. on there. What's up here? Ooh, look Whoa. at this thing. What are you? Hmm. Oh. Tell your baskets. It looks like those baskets. Yeah, but oh, they're like on they a bubblegum coral. But they're on Zoom in, please. Something. Wow. I think it's a bubblegum coral. I think that you looks... are right. Oh, Position nice. for a minute so we can look at this a little bit more. It's like three different things oh, wow. on yeah. top of each other. Oh my goodness. And and Lynette, I'll come back to you in a second. <laughs> All right, everybody, <laughs> all of our <laughs> scientists tight. ashore are like, wow, wow. <laughs> sea urchins down below there also. All sorts of good yeah. stuff. Yeah, Goodness. So it's lots of stuff like, uh, intertwined around each other, some moving, some not. Can you come up on Delta, please, and tilt your camera down? Yeah. Clearly a cool spot to be. Oh, oh look at what's on the back the... side. Oh, yeah, so we got basket stars on the back. Yeah, for sure, basket stars. Can we tell what the underlying coral is? It's just a, is it a paragorgia? My untrained eye says yes. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Wow, this is intense. That is gorgeous. Some type of Holy hemi. moly. Coriolum. <laughs> How many oh. organisms are on this one structure? <laughs> That's a wow. great question. Ooh, definitely one, two, three. At least four all things that look different, but they're all intertwined. So there's suggestion that the basket star might be worth trying to sample one of them. There's many <laughs> to choose from. Okay. Um, I don't I don't know what the best way is to sample a basket star. Come wide, please. I think wow. maybe, just maybe, we could slurp the center part, use yep. it as a suction, and put it in the front bio box. I think I'll squish it. I'm talking use the slurp as a suction Using cup. Oh, okay. The slurp as... I don't think it'll fit in the, in the slurp. I see, I see, I see. Okay. We are at 50%. Eh. No, it's, they're stubborn. 70%. All right, we're up at 70. No. Okay, well, abandon a hope. This one, uh, <laughs> you can kill the slurp. Trevor, if possible, yeah. Uh, while we're at this feature, if we could pivot around to see this feature from the other side. You want to see this far side here? Yeah, we just want to see a couple of the center discs. What is we might not get what oh. we want, but we'll. Oh, so lots of urchins down there and urchins. Look at how wide the base of that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot, Trevor. Okay, thanks.